Hello, welcome everyone. In previous session, we looked into convergent charging, both in theory as well as the demo system. Now, continuing the same, today we would be looking into the next component, which is convergent invoicing. The SAP Convergent Invoicing is the central invoicing and revenue management platform. It is built to handle high volume and scalable business models. The SAP Convergent Invoicing's role in BRIM is to consume the billable items once they are passed down from SAP CC. It can take input of billable items. That's the key input to the converter invoicing system. Billing billable items are also known as bits. So it can take in bits from any kind of charging system. In an integrated prim solution implementation, it would be SAP CC, but it can take in bits from any kind of other systems as well. Once these items reach SAP CI, the application will handle the process of uploading consumption detail records storing billable items, aggregating billable items, creating the billing talk, and invoicing the customer. SAP CI stores and manages rated consumption data records in SAP CC system. Yes, sorry, SAP CI stores and manages rated consumption data records from SAP CC system. The rated consumption data records are also known as billable items. These undergo billing and invoicing process as part of posting receivables in contract accounting. CI can configure multiple billing cycles. The, uh, these are some of the features of CI. So, CI can configure multiple billing cycles. It can have different billing periods like daily, quarterly, hourly, etc. It has multiple processes, power processing capability. You can aggregate and group bits based on configuration required. Different types of billing can be done like mass billing, manual billing, phase billing, rebilling etc it supports complex revenue sharing models with partners this is one of the key features of ci and you can also integrate it with cc to enable really complex partner sharing revenue models unlike som and cc which comes as separate applications which used to come as separate application, this SOM part, SAP CI isn't a separate application and is a part of contract uh, and is a part of contract accounting, which is also included in core S4 HANA portfolio. This means that SAP CI is natively integrated with all of S4 HANA areas out of the box, especially S4 HANA cloud for contract accounting and invoicing. So I hope we understood a little bit about SAP CI from the theory. Now continuing the tradition I would say let's now jump to our live CI system to see how the data flows. So, this is a screen for monitoring consumption items. As explained before, the typical flows works is when we create a 
contract in SOM, it will first get replicated to CI and then it will be passed down to CC. Then when SAP CM system will gather the records from different sources, it will post to SAP CI using consumption items API. So we can see those consumption data records over this transaction. It has different selection variants, which is raw data, rateable, unrated, rated. So let's take some rateable examples. So it, we can see these are some of the records which have been posted in CI system. And these are on rateable status. So uh, from rateable, we will uh, we can make it a rated system. And once it becomes rated, it will pass. It will uh, these records will go to then CC, and from CC, we will get the amount based on the quantity consumed. If you would see over here. This is the column which says quantity consumed. So here we can say that here the quantity consumed is 100 units. Okay. And this is rated. Now if we see in the billable item, we can jump directly from here. And here we can see based on the amount that we consumed, how much price was charged. See the price was charged is 50 INR. If we check in the consumption, we would not see any amount field because amount doesn't get calculated at consumption level. We only have the currency type. But the amount will not be calculated at the consumption level. At the consumption level, we will only be gathering the quantities. And once it becomes rated, these data records will go to CC. CC will decide the price based on the quantity. And then it will return us a billable item. As we can see at the heading, billable item. So. This is how a billable item record looks like. It would be having the amount, origin, our division, company code, etc. Lots of details. Once we get this billable item, then we would bill it and then we would invoice it. These would be the typical billing document looking look like see we have a billing document here we have the item if there are any taxes those would be coming if any additional payment data terms those we can see over here similarly we can also see invoicing document this is how a typical invoicing document looks like you can see this is how a typical invoicing document looks like now once these are done in this posting document the document which is created this will be sent uh, to FICA system where FICA will handle the rest of these steps so in the next session, we will see of how the FICA, how FICA works conceptually as well as practically. So thank you.